a more user-centric and efficient transportation system in the future. We were working towards the pilot deployment of AVs as public transport uh, in Singapore. You have uh, lidars, cameras, radars, other sensors, and we're testing whether uh, the, search, the stopping distance is safe. Each one of the e-floaters have a GPS connection, so at any given point, I know exactly what the battery status is. A safe, reliable and efficient transportation system is key to Singapore's success as Asia's business hub. The Land Transport Authority has its hands full as it tries to balance the needs and aspirations of a growing population. We have limited land area here and we can't afford to build more roads to accommodate more vehicles even as our population and economic activities uh, continue to grow. At the same time, uh, we have limited manpower here. Uh, so for instance, we have a shortage of bus drivers in the public transport and logistics industries. And this is especially so as the uh, workforce uh, ages. So technology really allows us to overcome some of these constraints, uh, especially when we're talking about technologies like autonomous vehicles. Autonomous vehicles, or AVs, are set to reshape the transport landscape in various smart cities around the world. A centre to spearhead development of testing requirements for such vehicles was set up in 2016 at the Jurong Innovation District. The Centre of Excellence for Testing and Research of Autonomous Vehicles, NTU, Citron, was launched by the LTA and JTC in partnership with NTU. We were working towards the pilot deployment of AVs as public transport uh, in Singapore. We hope to deploy them from about 2022 onwards in three of our towns, Pongo, Dengar and the Jurong Innovation District. The NTU campus has been the testbed for AVs since 2012. The latest AV to be deployed is this air-conditioned minibus which provides daily shuttle services for students staying in three halls of residences. The vehicle can transport up to 24 passengers at any time and plies a 400-metre route. There are plans to extend the shuttle services across the entire campus in the near future. Ensuring the safety of these AVs remains a top priority. All autonomous vehicles have a safety operator as really fallback last resort. So we're testing that these safety operators are able to do the trial. But then there is the technology itself we're testing. We're testing whether a vehicle can detect pedestrians and uh, stop for pedestrians. You have uh, lidars, cameras, radars, other sensors which really test for pedestrians. And we're testing whether uh, the, the stopping distance is safe. And safe means not too close, but also not too far away that it becomes unpredictable. And we're testing both uh, static pedestrians as well as uh, what we call dynamic obstacles, moving obstacles, somebody running in front of the vehicle. If you don't pass those tests, you're not allowed to test on the public roads. Long term, it might be pretty convenient because uh, the time can be saved by waiting for drivers, but um, might be exposed to potential accidents, so that's something that we should be aware of. If you want to have autonomous, like hop into the car and it can take you anywhere in Singapore, that may be a little bit tough. But you have dedicated routes uh, where everybody knows that there are autonomous vehicles uh, flying around the routes. It is possible. AVs aside, a new initiative is taking off in the shared mobility platform. In addition to bicycles, commuters now have access to rental electric scooters to solve their first and last mile problem distances that are too far to walk and too short to drive. Flotility is a startup that runs a fleet of 50 custom-designed and built e-scooters at One North. Called the e-floaters, these e-scooters come equipped with three wheels and are self-balancing. At 10 cents per minute, they're also affordable for most commuters. Each one of the e-floaters have a GPS connection, so at any given point, I know exactly what the battery status is. And if it's below a certain threshold, I can do an immediate swap. The Flotility team has also come up with an innovative solution to curb indiscriminate parking of shared mobility devices. Called a geofence, it allows users to rent and return the e-scooters only within designated areas. I can manipulate the geofence whichever way I want. So right now we have it open uh, in One North, but eventually I'm going to make it tighter 
So that means in each uh, building, I can do a geofence. So that means you can only go from one building to the other and you can't leave it in between, let's say on the road, on the sidewalk, whatever. With our transportation system getting smarter, various initiatives are being put in place to ensure that it remains inclusive and accessible to all. We have an ongoing hands-free ticketing trial uh, where commuters can access the MRT stations through the fare gates without having to tap in or out. So we hope that this would uh, allow commuters, for instance people with disabilities, to more easily access public transport.